We're starting to build up since we slept, of course. It doesn't take long. Check the rest of this building out. Damn. I guess the zombies are standing back up. Look at all these bodies we've left around. We survived another day. Hey, we can choose hauler. Or awake. I think we'll choose hauler. Pick up an 8th carry slot. And our follower gains one. Light sleeper. Or strong for extra melee damage. We'll give her light sleeper. That way she doesn't get uh, 8 in her sleep. I'm not real worried about her having extra melee damage. She probably won't live long enough to worry about it. Drop this. Now, is there any M rotten MREs anywhere in here? <clears throat> Excuse me. Nope. Just med kits. Wish I could mark this building off my map so I don't have to worry about it anymore. I just have to remember it. Who are you? Alexander Kennedy? He's not a friend of mine. We'll leave him be though. Got more important things to worry about than cleaning the streets this morning. Here's an old military drop. There is still some food supplies left. We're gonna have to fight the zombies for it though. Let's start running. Army ration good to day 12. I don't see any more army rations here. Um, I think we really should just head down this street all the way to the west and scout out these remaining char buildings. See if there's an army drop down there somewhere. Wake up, Private. There's zombies coming. And we're tired, so catch our breath for a moment. There is a sewer grate down there. Um, I'm not going to go into the sewer just yet, though. Another army ration, it looks like. Three army rations. It's our lucky day. So, what will we do? Reload the shotgun. And we'll drop that ammo, and drop that med kit, and drop that med kit, and take all of these. And where are we at on the map? We're here, so our house is still just down the street. Instead of going where we ran... Oh, look at this military drop right by our house. That's fortunate. And we'll tear down this barricade. <clears throat> She's offering us blue pills for an army ration. I think we'll accept that now that we have all those army rations up there. So five pills. I don't know why I tore down that barricade there. We're going to have to build that back up, I think. Hey, look, Amy. I brought food today. Go ahead and eat up. Here's three of them. And a new wave of refugees has arrived. So let's run in as many of these supplies as we can before I end up having to fall asleep. Eat up, private. You know that these are all good. Eat one, two. Gorge ourselves on a third one. Why not? Have the lemon pound cake. Yeah, she probably should have dropped those blue pills in there too. And there's three boards back there for us, so we'll go grab those. Uh, the drop point seems to be 27 tiles to the west, so more supplies for us. I might just uh, run supplies until nighttime comes. And it has stopped raining too. So it's day 10, hour 14, and we are stocking up on goods. Got more than enough food that I could probably survive for several days. Probably a week or more inside this house. Um, I'm not sure what I need though. Plenty of boards. I could build fortifications in here. I'll drop those pills as well. I won't need them. And he is running from something. Oh wow. <clears throat> Jesse O'Brien. They're all running from the skeleton. Or are we? For some reason I can... Oh, he is a zombie. Damn it, he died. Um, let's see. Let's hop around this car. Oh, wow, look at all those zombies. We better fight back here. Take out that skeleton first. Take out the private. Rest in peace, private. Fortunately, he didn't drop any of his, uh... Weapons or body armor for us. Last pistol shot on that one. We'll use our shotgun on this guy. So now we're also going to need ammo. Oh, don't worry about it. Just use the pistol to finish him off. Okay, so probably up in this char building there is some more ammo for us. You better not die on me. 
whatever his name is. I think that is Ashley Bent following Sergeant Preston. He's got her guarding this street. Grab that ration and this last med kit here. Go back into our building. We're not going to rest just yet. It's sunset and cloudy. Um, don't even think you're going to come in here and start stealing stuff, person, you. Fortunately, I can't kill them if they do start to. Drop this... No, drop this med kit. And this army ration here will drop it. Pick up these pills. So let's see. I'm going to barricade that one more level and barricade that. And we're going to build a small fortification. Uh, maybe. Not enough bar barricaded material. 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 Need two. So, damn. Gotta pick up some more boards for that. We'll leave that in here. I'm gonna build some small fortifications right here by the door, so if anything does happen to come through, they'll have to break through those first, but I can still jump over the top. So, what were we gonna do? I was gonna drop these blue pills over here, for starters. You better not steal those. I guess... Oh, damn, zombies are already here while I'm complaining. Amy Bradley raises the alarm and yells at us. The zombie jumps into the door. Um, get out of here. Go guard the place. I'm gonna scout this place out. And there's a zombie master. And Cop Xavier. He's fighting the zombies. He's not a zombie yet. There's National Guardsmen in there. More boards and planks. Shotgun ammo. Lock and load, soldier. And more blue pills. We'll take those. A fully loaded shotgun. I'm not sure if I should take that. I just will take all these boards instead. Probably should barricade that iron door. Make sure that it never gets opened again. Weld it shut. It's midnight and zombies are invading town. I think it's time we lock ourselves up for a while. We've got two fully loaded shotguns or just one fully loaded shotgun. So, got two boards left. What was it, just in? Yep, we'll build that small fortification there. I really ideally need to build one here and one here as well. But that's not going to happen today. And she did pick up those blue pills, didn't you? Yep. Oh well, hopefully she uses them wisely. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of what we should have equipped before we lay down for sleep. We'll go ahead and choose one more med kit in case we wake up surrounded by zombies. We'll have two med kits and our shotgun. So let's save it. It's currently day 11, hour 1, deep night and cloudy. Zombies are invading town. We're going to try to fall asleep here in our little, our humble little shack. And here we go. Really sleep? Absolutely. Good night and happy nightmares, Michael Mallory. So, we'll probably hold up in here. It's day 11. Try to spend, I guess, as much time as we possibly can. The military will continue to drop supplies out there. But unfortunately, the zombie population is also going to continue to rise. It might become... It might be too dangerous if we just stay out here, or stay inside this building. We've survived another day. We can choose Awake, Martial Arts, or Light Sleeper. Um, let's go ahead and choose awake so we can stay up just a little bit longer. And that'll work. Yep. And Amy Bradley learned another skill. We can give her firearms, agile, or hauler. Um, let's go ahead and give her firearms, because I think we're going to try to equip her with um, a pistol soon. I saw somebody in one of the comments said that we could give them items. Thank you to whoever said that. I'll have to try to figure it out and see which command option it is. We could get her to use a riot gun in here, a shotgun. It would make home defense much easier. We're sleeping for a long time. We're exhausted. I'm still surprised nobody's woke us up yet. No shot, no gunshots outside. No motorbikes, no nothing. And our friend here wakes up. Looks like the other person's over there. Sean Paul is still alive. He's got green pills and a police jacket. 
And Amy Bradley. We're gonna give her the order to patrol. Just patrol here. And let's see. We need a we need an MRE for the day. We'll tear that open. And you know what? Eat another one. Why not? Be a little bit capricious with it. I think I used that word right. We'll leave the blue pills here, and we're gonna take everything else that we've got on us out into the streets. Amy Bradley raises the alarm. She spotted something. No, I hope it's not Black Ops. We'll dive in front of the door. And it's not. It's just a skeleton. So we'll shoot that. And stay in here. I'm going to go outside and scout around for a bit. See what supplies I can find. Um, no. You stay in there and patrol right here. And we'll close this. There we go. And you just stay in there until I say... You can come out, I guess. It's for your own safety, I promise. A new wave of refugees enters the city. And we'll use them and their slowness to gather everything that we're going to need to survive. We still have these char buildings that we need to scout out. Um, yep, we'll tear down these barricades. Oh, I really hope... The drop point is 36 tiles to the north, so... Oh, but this intersection that we haven't scouted out, there's also a whole bunch of more military supplies. Hey, you! He yells, somehow not dead after all these days. So let's see. Clark Guardment, a char employee. He has a shotgun and ten shotgun shells. He's got all that stuff. We've got it, too. So, um... I guess we'll try to... Oh, man, another guard. Guard Finch. We shoot him from down the hallway, and he dies. And the other guard steps in the doorway foolishly and meets with our shotgun. We're gonna have to find a name for this shotgun. It's been with us so long. Is there any guards in here? Yep. Wayne Black. Here in about five seconds, he's gonna wish he would have shot us instead of yelling at us. He closes the door. Says he doesn't want anything to do with us. Okay, well, you can stay in there. I don't really care. I don't need to kill everybody I come across. I'll take this ammo. And... Let's see. I guess drop... I'll just pick up that. And we'll go drop off these shotgun shells back in our home. Start a nice little ammo stash, hopefully. There's an empty shotgun underneath a pile of boards. also need to get a pile of boards going. It's kind of kind of switching into a different type of survival mode. It's hoarding, scavenging mode now. We'll stockpile, gain our strength, try to build an build a militia force to break down to the underground lab. It might take us a few days, a few weeks. Who knows how long it'll take us? We need to get our leadership high enough to at least recruit a decent-sized squad. Um, we'll drop this shotgun ammo here. I think we'll also just go ahead and drop the pistol. With any luck, we'll be able to pick up some ammo for it out there. And... Um, drop one of these health packs. Hopefully we'll be able to pick up more stuff out there then. Stay in here, Amy. Motorbikes, 46 tiles to the southeast. Don't open that door for anyone, unless I use the secret knock. She knows the knock. I'll run back down this way.